Hi there, Love Island fans. Hello, Marcel. How are What's going on, Vic? How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Apologies for the little needy puppy. He's um, he's wanting cuddles today. I can't put him down. That's, that's all good. That's all good. <laughs> yeah, obviously, we are here to talk about the last week in Love Island, which has been super dramatic. Um, yeah, so as always, I'm Vicky Newman, the assistant showbiz editor for The Mirror Online. And of course, I'm joined by our resident expert, Marcel Somerville, who is going to talk us through everything that's happened because it's been a busy one. If you've got it's... any questions for Marcel, drop them in the comments and I will do my best to pass them along. If you've got any questions for Jared, drop them in the comments. <laughs> He'll do his best to answer them too. <laughs> so yeah, oh my God, Marcel, what a week! It has been the most up. Like I said it in my, I said it in my article yesterday. It's literally been. I feel like it's been the most dramatic week of Love Island ever, and I feel like I feel like the producers have done such a good job this this week. Just like, just like keeping us on the edge of our seats and then just throwing another another bit of drama in there. It's been crazy. There's been so much going on. Obviously, we've had the all the fallout from Casa Ramor. We saw the recoupling. And there was a few surprises, obviously, wasn't there, in the, in the Casa Ramor recoupling. Was there anything you were particularly shocked by? I think the, the thing that had me the most, like, oh, my God, what the hell, was when Teddy walked in by himself and yeah. Ray was coupled up with Sam and I was like, it broke my heart a little bit because, like, I understand Teddy. Yeah, he made a couple of mistakes. He shouldn't have been kissing him during during the game and all that kind of stuff. But it was innocent in his in in his mind. It wasn't like what Liam was doing because Liam was just out there trying to crack on and trying to pull 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 new girls. Yeah. Teddy was was doing it in the in the light heartedness of a game, and he had every intention of coming back to Faye and not actually. Not actually really trying to get to know these other girls. He didn't really like it wasn't in his head. So when he came back in and I saw him there and he just looked like he was heartbroken, I was like, Oh please, you got the bit you gotta work it out. When he put the little teddy down and he like had a little teddy bear. Do you know what I'm saying? So and then she walked bad. over and, and just picked it up and cause cause she was still she was trying to keep up, but you could tell yeah. she knew that she had messed up big time. But she was just trying to like trying to try to just carry on like I've got uh, if like if she if she broke, if she broke her demeanor, then it would have just like 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 it would have just been like she would have been caving too soon. I think she wanted to try and make him work for it. She yeah. did, but like we both like we all knew that she wanted she wanted Teddy over yeah. that same guy. I mean, obviously the thing is, you know, Faye didn't know that Teddy's kiss was during a day. You know, exactly. All she's seen is this picture. Um, yes, Jared. All she's seen is this picture <laughs> um, of him kissing another girl, and she knows that it's nighttime and that he's he's like dressed in clothes. So it's obviously yeah. doing the like the game that they had to play when they were all obviously in the swimwear during the day. Um, so yeah, I mean, how she meant to know? Like, I would say that, and out of the it's country, true. you would just assume like, oh, okay, well, he's just cracking on with somebody else. So you kind of can't blame her. So it's so true. Yeah. The the producers knew what they were doing. They wanted to 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 get the drama flowing in it. They wanted the girls to have doubts. That that was the key thing. The funny thing about it is though, they was given all of the doubts like they were like 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 showing the kisses, like showing everyone kissing. But but for Liam and Millie, yeah, they just showed them. In, they didn't even show him grabbing the two girls' heads and having a yeah. kiss. They didn't show none yeah. of that stuff very interesting why they didn't show the picture of Liam kissing other girls that obviously would have that would have surely seen Millie then go off and you know get to know yeah. the boys wouldn't it so exactly it was so, a little bit of like you know the wanted the drama of her um kind of standing there yeah. because I was really shocked to be honest when he walked in alone I really thought he was yeah, Lily out of all of the boys, him and and maybe Tyler, those two were the two boys that 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 for me just were they weren't considering the girls that they had back at the villa. They were fully about what what they wanted to do in that villa. So I think I think the producers definitely were like, you know what, we're gonna make Millie be 
in this relationship, Millie's going to be the one who's going to be by herself and see see Liam. Like, 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 like Millie was the one that they, that they wanted to make us be like, oh my God, I can't believe Liam's doing these things to her. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I think I think with, with, with the Tyler situation, when Tyler started playing up and Kaz saw that Tyler was, was, was playing up, Kaz in turn started going going after someone new. Do you know what I mean? So 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 like like the like it wasn't just all all sent like like it just didn't end up being one sided with, with with Kaz and Tyler. They both could like kind of find someone new. But with with Millie and Liam, both of them coming back single after Liam doing all of that kind of stuff, it just like made it a bit more like yeah you, you, you hated Liam a bit more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean Debbie thinks Liam is a player. A hundred percent Debbie. Yeah, honestly, like I just find the whole thing just quite ridiculous. I mean, obviously it was amazing television when Lily kind of said that she was shocked to be stood there and um, revealed what her and Liam had been up to in Casa Ramor. But it was like, I was kind of sitting there thinking, well, did Liam think he was just going to get away with it? I mean, you know, for example, <laughs> say no... Say she didn't say that, right? It wasn't revealed. Obviously, the postcard didn't out him. Um, we'll get back to, um, you know, the the back in the villa, the back together. None of the boys oh, no. Hello? see anything. No Did? one passes them up, right? Did it was he? it was on telly. So, oh no, nice. frozen. Marcel is frozen, and I think he thinks I'm frozen. Yeah. And, can you hear us, Marcel? Yeah, I'm there. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Right, I'm good. Sorry. sorry. Back again. I'll recap just briefly in case you missed what I was saying. Um, yeah, just basically, you know, like wondering how Liam, you're frozen again, but I'm just hoping you're hearing us. I'm hearing you. I'm I'm, I'm hearing you fine. <laughs> I, I feel like you're freezing, but is it me? I, I don't know. I think Jarrah's doing something. <laughs> Um, right, Mars. We're just gonna quickly kick Marcel out and bring him back in in the hope right. that fixes everything. So Ed, the producer, is gonna do that right now. Um, for entertainment purposes, I'm quite boring, but you can you can look at the cute little puppy if you like, just to um, wait for Marcel to come back and let us know. Join in, like let join in the comments. Let us know if you've got any questions. Let us know who you want to win. Who's your favourite couple? Which couple are you really not believing? Um, oh, here we are. That is better. I'm oh my back. God. You're in I'm HP back. now. <laughs> wow. Right. So. Are you frozen again? No, no, no. Have you? All right. No, you're fine. We're fine. All Let's right. Good. To it. So we're talking about. Um, the whole Millie and Liam situation. And I was saying, you know, how Lily obviously came back into the villa and she sort of revealed what Liam had been up to. Um, but it really confused us, like how Liam seemed to think that he was going to get away with it all. So say, you know, say Lily hadn't said anything and all the other boys and the new girls sort of kept Storm and didn't grass him up to Millie. Like, he does realise that this was on telly. And <laughs> then when, you know, they not say they didn't know and she, she was oblivious this whole time, then they get out and then she's just going to find out. Like, imagine how furious she would have been. Yeah. How did Liam think he was going to get away with doing what he did? Do, do you know what, like, do you know what? I was like, in my article last week, I said, I hope, I hope Liam, he sees the error of his ways and when he comes back in, he straight away goes and says to Millie, Millie, Look, something happened in the thing, and 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 he was honest about it. That's what that's what I hoped he would do. Yeah. I think walking in, he was literally like, "Oh my days, like we're back together." And he, I think he was thinking he's just gonna ride it out and just go with it, just, just go with it because she's not gonna find out. They might get to the end and and, and win, and then it'll, it'll all be forgotten about. Hopefully, that's that's that, that's what I think he would have been thinking based on his based on his actions when he came back in. But I think the producers. The producers wanted to see whether or not he was actually going to be doing it. Do you know what I'm saying? I think literally, literally, like, like they were like, "All right, cool. Let's see how far he takes it. And if he doesn't do it, we're gonna just literally bring Lily in and let her spill the tea." And I think the tea was spilt perfectly. 
It was it perfect. Was so good. It was like an iconic moment in Love Island history for me. Absolutely brilliant when she just sort of, yeah, dropped the bomb and then walked out. It was just great. And then, even even after that, because I think I, I think the producers kind of clocked on that Millie was 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 kind of like being a little bit like she wasn't. I feel like she was she was she was going to be forgiving him pretty pretty quick. Do you know what I mean? Just just based on 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 the kind of expl explanation he gave, and then for them to basically go, no, nah, do you know what? We're not going to finish it there. Let's send them out on a date. So you can't you can't have any kind of like you can't be looking over. You can't be having any involvement in the conversation. Literally, Millie and Lily sitting down, having a hashing it out about exactly what Liam was doing. Do you know what I mean? Like it, you couldn't, you couldn't, you, like you couldn't write it better. Yeah, definitely. And Rose agrees with um, with you what you've been saying this week about Jake is a snake. Um, and yeah, oh my God, he's so badly egging the other boys on to cheat when they're in Casa Ramon and everything. I mean, the the moment when um, Liam and Lily kissed on like the daybed thing, whatever it is. Jake walked past and he had this proper smug, like little look on his face, and he was he was laughing. I'm telling you, I'm telling you now, Jake is literally he's the worst character. Like I'm like at first I liked him. I was like, yeah, him and Libs, they they're great. But even at the start, he was saying things about how how he wasn't sure about Liberty. If a new girl walked in, he'd leave her, and all this and and and, and all these different things. And like now, I think he's just playing the game. He's like, all right, cool. We're six weeks into it. I'm gonna just like stay in this and play the other boys off and like make them do things so I can win. Because I think I think he I think he's only in it to win. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He brought in the bracelets. The bracelets. That's like that's like um. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. It's premeditated stuff in it. Like he's like, all right, cool. I've got a girl now. Everyone seems to like us. I'm reckon we're one of our one of the favorite couples. I'm gonna just make the other boys do stupidness. And I think, and and you know, when you're in there, you you don't get to see exactly what other people are doing and how they're doing it. Yeah. But, but but as a viewer, you get to see exactly what people are doing and how they're doing it and why they're doing it. And I feel like he's definitely been very, very snaky with his with, with with his actions. And Jake the Snake, it's the perfect, it's the perfect, you know, it's the perfect name for him. It rhymes and everything. Exactly. <laughs> um, you know what I mean. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, he. I've seen a lot of people tweeting and stuff about how you know they think the only reason that Jake has stayed with Liberty this whole time is because no other girls have showed him any attention. Like they no, haven't. no girl has come in, no bombshell, and been like, "Oh, I really fancy Jake. I'm gonna go after him." Do you know what I mean? So it kind of he's he's playing it safe, and like like you say, I think you know he, he obviously can see himself being the winner now because they've been together since day one, but is it going to be a case of, you know, they might win the show, but then they'll split up as soon as they leave? Do you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I think, I think if they, if they do go on to win the show, because like, like, I think because there'll be so much commotion around them, they'll probably like be together for a while. I can actually see it. I can actually see it because because I think I think that's what that's what happens with the show. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I think watching it, you can kind of see that they like 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 I think Liberty's fully into it. I think she's she's a hundred percent into it, and I think he's just literally just going and look, go going with the flow and just basically yeah. just 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 making the most of the situation. Do you know what I mean? Because no one no one has come in and made a play for him. Yeah, like literally no one, like no okay. one. Like they've sent in so many blondes. And none of them have actually made a play for him because the other boys have been more available. And the other boys are, I don't know, like probably like, do you know what I mean? There's there's, a, there's been a lot of tall guys in there. He's like, he's, he's probably not 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 getting the attention because he's not as tall. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know, man. I think I think in the long run, in the long run, Jake Jake and Liberty will get to a final. They will they will get to the final. I don't know whether whether or not it might be the the um. The, the Tommy and Molly kind of thing where they've been in it for so long that they get a bit boring and like they like like it's 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 kind of like like they'll get to the final because they're a strong couple but I don't think they've had the the real 
drama to make them like the solid couple. I think Teddy and Faye are probably like yeah. my favourites to win. There seems to be a lot of love for Teddy and Faye in the comments as well. I think people are really quite invested in them. I think, you know, they did, they were sort of duped a little bit maybe and they probably shouldn't have split up, but hopefully it's made them stronger. Exactly. Um, let's move on to last night's with Copeland because it was a great one as well. Obviously, we've seen they have got back together, Teddy and Faye. Yeah. Um, Lily, uh, sorry, <laughs> that's confusing, isn't it? Millie has also taken Liam back, but has made it clear that that doesn't mean everything's forgiven and that he's still got work to do. Same with Chloe and Toby, because he all of a sudden, after dumping Chloe for Abby and then going into Casa Ramon and coming back with Mary, he's now decided that he wants Chloe back. So he's been quite grafting her for the last few days. She also has taken him back and said, you know, your work's not done. I mean, are Chloe and Millie making a mistake here by recoupling with these boys? Are they forgiving them too easy? Do you know what? Chloe and Millie are both making, they're, they're making errors. They're making errors. When when someone does you wrong, you never go back. Do you know what I mean? You, you learn and you move on from it. But it's Love Island and it's one of those things where Chloe's had six boys to pick from and none of them have actually like made a play for her. Toby, who she was paired up with, is trying to get her back. And it's and it's one of those things that happen in like normal life. You fall back into it, like you're not getting the attention you want from from elsewhere. So you go back to someone who's done you wrong. And in reality, Toby is probably he's probably made this play because he's thinking, all right, cool, Cash and Moore's done now. We're getting to like the business end of the show. If I want to get through the final few weeks, I need to be in a relationship that people are going to be like, oh, like they've got back together after all of this stuff. Like, like there's 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 something there. Like, like they've they've both been on the show for a long time, so they've both got followings now. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if they was to pair up with, with another new person, that new person is not going to have as much pull. And when it comes down to it, the people from Cash and More, they're doing this. Like, like, like the producers are doing this whole recoupling. They 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 done it now to to do the vote just to get the excess weight out of the villa because there's too many people in the villa currently. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like they want to get it back down to like six couples so they can send in some new people. But at the moment, there's too many couples and the weaker couples will be seeing the door. So Toby and Chloe, in comparison to Mary and Sam, they're a stronger couple, so they'll probably get further. Like Abby and... Um, Abby and... Dale. Probably paired up with Dale. They probably won't see the final because they're not like they're not original cast members you know what i mean yeah. so like original cast members always get further so i think currently matt out of all the cash and more people is the most likely to get further down the line because he's paired up with kaz and yeah. i don't think kaz I, 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 I think kaz out of, all, out of all the girls that have been burnt on the show is the only one who's really doing things right because she's like tyler you had yeah. your chance you messed up See you later. She gave him a little wink last night to say, so, yeah, you messed up. Yeah. Perfect. She's handling it right. I think Millie and Liam, they were, they were a strong couple, but Liam has got a lot of people that aren't on his side anymore. He was he was, he was, was the quiet, cool, like calm guy, like very sweet when he, when he found a girl he liked, but then he messed it up a little bit. So I think he's got a lot of work to do with the nation as well to kind of like get us back on his side. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So there was also a bit of beef last night between Mary and Abby because Mary wasn't happy that Abby went first and she picked Dale. Even yeah. Mary wanted to pick Dale. I mean, has she got any right to have mm -hmm. that beef like after a couple of days? <laughs> In reality, she has zero right. She has zero right, but the producers knew what they wanted to do. Literally, if if you if you remember my my season, exactly the same time. Theo, Theo's coming to the villa. Theo wanted Tyler. He's got to pick bit, bit, um, before Johnny did, and Johnny and Tyler were, were, were paired up. So Theo's picked Tyler, and Johnny's given the speech about Theo being an avatar and all yeah. those things, and that was beef. Do you know what I mean? They were squaring up. They were ready to go. I don't think Mary played her card right. I don't think Mary dramatised it enough. Do you know what I mean? If she dramatised it a little bit more, then people might have been like, oh my God, I like Mary. Mary's got a bit of fire, this, that, the other. But she was just a bit like, I'm a bit sad. I don't get to pick the boy that I like. And for me, it was a bit of an anti-climax. Do 
Mm. Because it was two, it was two girls who were quite new into the villa, fighting over a boy who was new into the villa as well. And I kind of like didn't have any like real like didn't have any real connections to them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, 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 yeah. yeah. So 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 Abby by by all means she likes Dell the most. She's got she she's got rights to to pick him as well. Yeah. I mean, where is Hugo gone as well? Like, he seems to have faded into the background now. Mate, Hugo, really? Hugo, friend zone. Like, literally, <laughs> he, he oh, where, where, do, where do I begin? Like, Hugo, <laughs> like, I knew a Amy didn't really like Hugo because there was a, there was a shot. I don't know if, 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 if you saw it. Hugo was like, oh, wearing the bright colours then. And Amy just literally, like, looked at him and walked the other direction, didn't say a word to him. Then, 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 then the next thing you know, their lips in, and she's coupling up, coupling up with him, and I'm like, it's a bit confusing, but yeah. they're basically in the friend zone. When it comes to bedtime, Amy's sleeping like on one side, Hugo's on the other side, and there's no connections. They, they're not showing them even talking to each other. Do you know what I mean? Amy's, Amy's like recoupling um, speech was terrible. It was literally, I was literally like. Yeah, there's there's nothing there. There's no passion. There's no feelings. Them wearing the same color of <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh like we, yeah. we we unintentionally match, and it was like yeah, every, like like in honesty, everyone tries to match with their couple with their partner. Like it goes yeah. without saying, you do it. Like you know, what I mean, oh oh, are you wearing a white shirt today? Oh cool, I, I wear like a white dress. That's what they do. So so, yeah. so you can kind of see the the kind of pairing. So I feel like. I don't think there's going to be another speech. I don't think there's going to be another speech, like 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 a breakup speech. I don't think he's going to yeah. do that again. I think yeah. he's going to try to stick it out because if this girl doesn't work for him, he's going to be out the door. Do you know what I mean? I feel I feel like that's that's a fact. Yeah, I'm. I'm at this point. I'm almost like, is he gonna like anyone? And they've they've put some like really lovely girls in there for him, and he's just, you know, he's he's describing his perfect woman. They're sending her in, and then he's mm. like, eh. nah. No, <laughs> but the thing is, I think I think he really likes Amy. I think he really likes Amy, but I think Amy isn't. In Casual Moore, she was she was giving it the whole the whole oh like we got a connection kind of thing. But I think now that she's in the villa, she's happy that she's got herself into the villa. So when new people start coming in, I think you might start seeing a little bit of Amy. Oh, like maybe like the new guy might be thing, but it, but it all depends on who the new guy is and who the new guy is going for. Yeah. So at the end of last night's show, the vote opened up for people to um, choose the favourite couples and those in the bottom are at risk of being dumped. So who, who are you predicting? Who's going next? Oh, who's in the bottom? All right, so the bottom, the bottom is hundred percent. Sam and Mary, they're 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 already out the door. Like I think it's hundred percent. They're already out the door. Like well, they're, not, they're not a couple, are they? They're just they're just no. they were the last picked, basically. Yeah, literally, literally, because because like I was saying earlier, like Casher and Moore. Once Casher and Moore's done, there's too many people in the villa if they keep everyone in there. So on my year, they had Nathan and 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 and, and Danielle. And they tried to like, 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 build a relationship, but like they were the first ones to go because, literally, they were the newest in there. No one had really like, 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 like connected with them, so they was out the door. So I think definitely Sam and Mary, and I feel like there might be another couple that goes as well. So Sam and Mary, and potentially, either Dale and Abby. It will be Dale and Abby, yeah, or Tyler and Clarice, because I don't think Tyler's got that many fans currently because of yeah. the way he's been acting. I think it's funny how you do you do tend to have as a viewer such a like a bond in a way, I guess, with the original islanders. And then you people obviously get like dripped in through the show. And there might be the odd one that you like, but they just don't hold the same appeal, do they, as a viewer? And they can often find that if a new person goes on to win the show, it's because they've coupled up with an original islander. So is, and do, that's it. Yeah, and you do start to doubt people's um like intentions as well, don't you? Because you think, mm, like, do you actually really like that person? You know, like think about Amber and Greg from the Winter series, okay? Like he came in sort of last minute, he was only in there for a few days and he won. And then not long after they got out, he dumped her. Exactly. Exactly. And and like, basically got used. Like and, that's and, what it looked like. 
isn't it? And that's and 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 that's where it comes. That's 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 hundred percent where it comes down to. It's like when Tyler came in and and his play was solely for um solely for for Kaz. Yeah. Then 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 then, then the moment she's not in the in, he's 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 somewhere else. He's he's already onto the next girl. That shows that he was in there making a play because Kaz is the most popular girl, and he's gone in there to make a play for her because he knows that if he connects to her, he's gonna like he might even win the show. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he might even win the show. Like so like I think all of these things kind of like start start becoming becoming part of the show now. After Catherine Moore happens, it gets down to the business end. And you will start to see as well, everyone is a family and everyone's close and friendly and all that kind of stuff. But you will start to see the competitiveness between the couples now because yeah. it happens all the time. You'll start seeing little arguments between the girls about certain situations. And it's gonna be mad, and then and they're gonna start showing the tweets. They start, yeah. they start, they they start doing the games with the tweets, and who said this, and what person said this, and start and start to 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 make people like fall out with each other. And yeah. this is where this is a hundred percent, a million percent, where Jake is gonna start getting outed. Yeah, it's definitely getting down to the nitty gritty now because well, you know, we're sort of near in the final, which is. Um, apparently going to be the 23rd of August, so there's not far now. So, yeah, the games are going to start really, mm. really played now, and it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks, I think. So I'm on the edge of my seat, Marcel. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been a good week. It's been a very good week. I'm just excited to see what happens next. Definitely. But for now, thank you so much once again for your expertise. And um, no next week, won't we? The talk all things Love Island once more. And Jared, 100%. see you. Bye. See ya.